What is organ harvesting? Mounting evidence tells a terrible tale of murder and mutilation in China. Witnesses and Chinese physicians reveal that tens of thousands of Falun Gong practitioners are being killed for their organs, which are sold and transplanted at enormous profit. After months of investigation, including undercover interviews with doctors throughout 12 provinces in China, we come to the regrettable conclusion that these allegations are true. Hun, David Kilger, J.D., former Canadian Secretary of State, Asia-Pacific. The kidneys, livers, and hearts are often sold on demand to patients who can afford them. That is, the prisoners of conscience are tissue-typed and then killed once a matching recipient is found for their organs. Who is doing this? The perpetrators are officials of the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, acting in cahoots with surgeons, prison authorities, and military officials. Victims are held in concentration camps prior to dissection, after which the body's remains are immediately cremated. The story, almost too dreadful to believe, was first revealed in March 2006, when a woman stated that as many as 4,000 Falun Gong had been killed for their organs at the hospital in which she had worked. She also said that her husband, a surgeon at the same hospital outside the northeastern city of Shenyang, had disclosed to her that he had removed cornea from the living bodies of 2,000 Falun Gong adherents. One week later, a Chinese military doctor not only corroborated the woman's account but claimed such atrocities were taking place in 36 different concentration camps throughout the country. He said he had also witnessed the Falun Gong being massively transported across the country in cattle trains, at night and under the cover of tight security. Falun Gong in stock Falun Gong supporters and human rights activists overseas immediately began investigating the allegations. They placed calls to Chinese hospitals pretending to be shopping for a kidney or a liver. To their horror, one doctor after another openly confirmed we've got Falun Gong in stock, just come in and we can get you the organ within a week. Organ Harvest Investigation Shocked by these reports, two prominent Canadian human rights lawyers launched their own independent investigation. They were former Secretary of State for Asia-Pacific David Kilger and renowned Canadian human rights attorney David Matters. In July 2006, they published their 140-page report. It drew, the regrettable conclusion that the allegations are true. This investigation uncovers the on-demand nature of organ transplants in China, abundance of organs despite the lack of a functional donation system. On June 22, 2016, they published an update to their report. It shows continued expansion of transplantation capacity after organ harvesting first came to light in 2006, driving factors behind the industry's growth, and the role of party and government agencies and individual officials in implementing and perpetuating the systematic killing of prisoners of conscience for their organs. While Chinese officials typically say that China transplants about 10,000 organs a year, this update shows that this annual figure is surpassed by just a few hospitals. Based on government-imposed minimum capacity requirements for transplant centers, the total system-wide capacity since 2000 would have easily reached over 1 million transplants. Given that the vast majority of these hospitals well exceed the minimum requirements, the number of transplants performed in China is staggering.